Guys, this time we're gonna take another look at the uh, Anytone 878 Plus. So far, very impressed with the radio. Uh, I have been playing with it now for about a week, and I've decided, because I don't wanna do a half hour, 45 minute video on doing an entire review on this thing, I am breaking this up into three parts. Today, I am going through all these accessories, this time on K6 UDA Radio. Guys, welcome back to the uh, welcome back to the big radio show. And today, yes, I am uh, gonna go through and review all the accessories that I got with the uh, Anytone 878 Plus. I'm gonna bring that all to you, but first of all, what I want you to do is I want you to hit that like, hit that subscribe button right now. And uh, while you're at it, why don't you uh, go over to Bridgecom and enter the contest. I'll have a link for the contest below in the description. Go ahead and enter that contest. So you can uh, get yourself entered to win one of these uh, really cool little radios. I'm going to do this a little bit differently. We're going to go through uh, accessories today. We're going to go through all the software and programming. And then we're going to get to the actual radio itself and uh, how it works, how it performs, and what is my final thoughts about it. Let's talk about uh, the little case that they offer for this thing. It is, uh, it's a little leatherette pouch with a clear plastic uh, screen protector on it. It fits fairly nicely on the radio. It gives you room. You can use the, uh, the little clip on the back. It snaps in back here. It has semi cutouts for all the controls on there. I mean, yes, uh, I guess I can kind of see the transmit light. I can see the little blue button in here. I can kind of see the transmit light. <laughs> okay, I'm on parrot. I am not a big case guy. I don't put uh, I don't put cases on things generally. But this one it seems to fit good. I don't know. I guess it's got a couple of cutouts here for speakers in the uh, in the plastic. It's got a cutout here for the uh, little condenser mic that is down there between the seven and eight buttons. The uh, both sides have an elastic band and that's uh, it ends right there at the buttons so you've got full access to all the controls of the radio on there the only thing is you don't have access to the drop-in charger so it's definitely got to come out of the case before it goes back in the charger yeah I guess if I took this out four wheeling or something to use it as a uh, as a standard radio on uh, on 146.52 or one of the TAC channels that I've got set up. I might put it in the case just to keep uh, all the dust and dirt off of the thing. Probably one of my favorite uh, accessories for this is this little hand mic. And there's a million of these floating around on eBay and everything, which is fine, but I haven't found one uh, yet at this kind of price point that has this kind of weight and heft to it. This feels very, very solid in the hand. The, uh, the rotating clip on the back feels very, very solid. It doesn't feel like this thing is going to come apart the first couple of times I use it. I'm gonna put this on Parrot. We'll do a little bit of a comparison here. I'm testing this on Parrot right now and we'll see how it sounds. All right. I'm testing this on Parrot right now, and we'll see how it sounds. Not bad. I, I mean, it sounds good. It's clear. This is the radio. All right, I'm going to hold this back uh, so maybe we won't get any RFI 
and we're going to test the uh, hand mic on Parrot. Alright, I'm going to hold this back, uh, so maybe we won't get any RFI, and we're going to test the uh, hand mic on Parrot. That, my friends, is nice and loud. I have the volume... I have the volume set to about half scale. Very, very cool on this. Like I said, the, the volume on this radio is insane. Anyway, uh, I would consider this mic as kind of one of my A-list accessories for this radio. This is a definite buy. And honestly, even if you've got a Kenwood radio that you want to use this for, or a, uh, or a Baofeng or whatever uses a Kenwood plug, this is a top-notch microphone. Go out and buy it. I have been playing with the uh, one of these little extra microphones here. Both of them come with uh, a PTT button, remote mic PTT button. It's okay. This, this is a, okay. The sound coming out of this, uh, unfortunately, you won't be able to hear it because it would be coming out of here. It's a bit muffled. It sounds kind of muffled and it's noticeably, uh, noticeably more muffled than uh, than both the stock speaker and this microphone, which doesn't really surprise me at all. But if you prefer to uh, carry covertly, so to speak, uh, one of these microphones is probably going to do you up really, really nice. Um, as, as far as, uh, you know, the earpiece, this is a standard uh, covert earpiece kind of a deal. I have, uh, I've also got the ones that I've had from work with custom fitted little earpieces in there that stay in when you're fighting and all kinds of cool stuff. All right, you may have noticed that uh, I have replaced the stock uh, antenna on this thing with this uh, Nagoya 701 that I'm currently running now and they also have the very long Nagoya, what is this, the 771, a nice long antenna. Probably will get you a little bit more in the way of range out there. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of those long antennas for my daily use. This one, though, uh, is nice and flexible, so, you know, it, and it doesn't have a memory like all of these. I, I have bent, I don't know how many times uh, I have bent up my uh, stock antenna for the uh, D74. I bent the stock antenna on my FT2. Uh, I was afraid I'd probably bend the uh, stock antenna on this. But this one is really, really nice. And I've actually gone ahead and ordered a couple of these for my D74 and my FT2. So anyway, now for continuous power everywhere you want to be if you're taking a long trip in the car uh, and you don't want to run out of batteries plug this thing in and you've got battery all day as long as your car is going to start now this brings me to this is not necessarily an accessory that you have to buy when you get the plus this comes with it a bluetooth ptt button say for the steering wheel, and the ability for this to uh, pair up, not just to the PTT button, but uh, this is supposed to pair to my car stereo. So we're gonna go ahead and give this a shot here. Bluetooth connection on, Bluetooth device info. Wireless earbuds that is my charge. So they don't last the entire day, but I'm going to leave them at the office as a backup in case I forget my headphones in the future. All right, my friends. There you go. Good plan. All right, K6UDA using the PTT button and uh, the car stereo to receive. All right, K6UDA using the PTT button and uh, the core stereo to receive. Holy crap, you got to admit, that is cool. So now, I could take this with me, 
throw the open spot in the car. All right, guys, that's my look at the uh, accessories for the Anytone 878 Plus. You know, some of that stuff is really top notch. If you like that stuff, hey, uh, go to uh, go to Bridgecom. You can order that stuff up. And while you're at it, go ahead and, uh, you know, again, hit the subscribe, like, and share. And also uh, hit those links down below. Enter that contest to get a free Anytone 878. And while you're at it, go hit up, uh, you know, Haas Nasi, uh, Ham Radio 2.0, Ham Radio Concepts, David Kassler. Go enter all of their contests, and that'll give you five times the chance to win an Anytone 878 plus free, gratis, no cost to you. Anyway, guys, that's all I got. I'm Bob, K6UDA, and I'm out of here. 7-3.